This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. Looking for some Rebel Clash boosters? No problem, they got your back and deliver the codes instantly. So definitely check them out at PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, if you're from Europe, be sure to check out CardMarket.com. This is the best place for you to get physical cards. You can buy cards from people all across Europe as well as sell cards yourself. It's the best platform for buying and selling physical cards in Europe and I personally use it every single day So be sure to check out the website if you haven't already cardmarket.com What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna be revisiting the McCargo archetype. McCargo now has of course a way to make quick work of VMAXs. Let's be honest, it uh, hacks uh, a limited amount of damage output. We can use Lava Flow and now for every basic energy we discard in that way we smack an additional 50 damage. So typically you will, you'll be able to one shot VMAXs if they're a little bit on the slow side. Think about uh, maybe Toxtricity VMAX etc. So that's gonna be fantastic for us. Also we have Burst GX at our disposal and we can also use Mind Blown to be honest. So if we accelerate those energies thanks to McCargo Crushing Charge we're gonna be able to do that also with the help of smooth over we can select one card from our deck and put it on top and then Oranguru can draw that out so it's very very nice to have a combination like that there's also a Lolan Persian GX in here a 1-1 one, one line and as, as well as a ditto so that means you can get this out out of nowhere and then Babel Cephalon will be scratching their head. Babel Cephalon has been cutting cards like Victini V and Victini Prism Star from their deck so this is going to be helping out a lot. It also is very great against tag team Pokemon for instance Speakeram as well as uh, yeah as seen here uh, tag team Pokemon Ultra Beast and uh, opponents that have special energies in the form of Spirit Tomb. So in all those matches uh, the Alolan Persian will become MVP not only that we can use uh, the Spoil the fun if we go first we can immediately uh, smack some damage on the opponent and smack 70 damage that could be one shotting a Jirachi or smacking 140 damage on something like uh, a Dragapult so uh, very very nice this also hits weakness against Dragapult so we'll see how this is uh, inclu uh, helpful in these matchups and uh, these matchups with this deck and uh, we also have new to protect our bench because we of course rely on the Dene heavily to set ourselves up with a couple of slug moss on the early phases of the game other than that we're just using welder and uh, research to draw on into our deck and having energy acceleration and then two bosses orders and a great catcher will get us uh, everywhere we also have uh, four great balls so we can set, get our setup as well as uh, two communication and the stadium of choice will be giant heart but the heat factory also lets us uh, draw a lot of cards with ordinary rod can even shuffle back the alolan persian line instantly so you can have uh, yeah maybe two of them during a game in certain scenarios because i know big blonde players will actually grab to their cramorant and that could sometimes get them the one hit ko Hopefully you guys are excited for, the, for this video. Uh, we are looking for our McCargo deck with, uh, yeah, Alolan Persian. So McCargo GX, let's see here. It's not this one, I think. Yeah, it's not this one. This is another build. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there's a lot of decks out here that uh, I really need to check out to where it is. McCargo GX, Alolan Persian, okay, fine. We'll see what we're coming across uh, on the opponent's side of the field. We are uh, already uh, very excited for a video like this because Makargo Jack is actually a very great Pokemon uh, nevertheless. We're up against some Psychic Metal shenanigans. Don't know what this is, but it'll be clear very shortly. Opponent goes first, so we can make use of the Alolan Persian, which we start off with on the bat. So uh, let's see if the opponent is starting with a Jirachi or not. Uh, they are not gonna be playing Reset Sample the first turn, right? Okay, they are playing a Lucario Melmetal variant. Or maybe it's Speedization, either way. We can spoil the fun and uh, smack for zero damage on the opponent. Okay, there is Zation. It's not gonna matter too much here in this scenario. He's just gonna go with Intrepid Sword. The good news is we hit for weakness against Zation, which is always a nice treat for us. Even a welder to start off with. Well, I'll take that any time of the day. So slap this down, slap that down. Uh, we're gonna use Great Ball, probably finding something. Oranguru. We can go for uh, communication in the Dene, to be honest. So we can just go for welder for one. This guy has 8 HP. Doesn't matter which one we take. Smacking down on Oranguru. 
a heat factory another great ball so this is actually very great a little Persian uh, will not work in this matchup unfortunately yeah I'm actually going to take this slap this down we have the darkness energy which we don't need in a matchup like this let's go for straight up uh, the Dene I know the Dene is a two prizer but if we can get our full energy acceleration combo going, it will be okay. Whoa, here we go. Energy's all around. Heat factory as well. Another great ball. <laughs> Blacephalon GX, not that we need that right now. But it's fine. Drawing so, so many cards on the first turn, it's insane. I'm gonna leave these communications and uh, great ball uh, as it is. Uh, yeah, let's go with Primate Wisdom, putting the, the Mew back. There's another Welder for next turn, so we're looking pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we are not gonna use Reset Stamp just yet. Not yet. We will probably need to dig for Boss's Orders, or if he goes on the offensive, we still have Welder left, so it's fine. We're gonna spoil the fun. That's what we're gonna do, and smack 70 damage. If this was a Jirachi, it would have been knocked out. So that's why uh, the Spoiled Fun is so good. Also, Alolan Persian GX is very good. Also, this uh, person probably will need to use something like Metal Saucer, Attachment of Turn, and Boss Source and Switch. And that hand, I don't know if he has all the cards. Uh, there's a couple of these cards, okay, relying on Jirachi. Crushing Hammer, okay, this is a Crushing Hammer build. Not that we mind that too much because McCargo can blow up on the Zations anyhow. There's a Marnie, which we don't want to see to be honest. Yo, Heat Factory. Uh, yeah, if our Stadium card stays in play, we will have an awesome time. It means we can uh, draw with Heat Factory. We even have a Ranguru drawing an extra card deep. And if he knocks something out, we can even use another Dedanit, so don't know if this list uses the full combo. Yeah, it probably will use the full combo. Smacking down a Rangaroo. Oh, and Intrepid Sword. Okay, he's just setting these guys up to attack with. We don't mind that at all for now. Okay. Macargo time. We can attach, use that, but we also need to get out of the active position at one point. <laughs> Okay, that could help. We have boss's orders. Yeah, the Mew is not gonna help us out too much here. Although this fella can actually smack some damage around. Okay, what to do? We can use Quick Ball getting rid of the Mew. Let's see here what we are able to do. We have Heat Rain GX which can come in handy. One shotting the Zation. Yeah, there are two switches on top. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'm actually gonna grab this. We're gonna use the Macargo. Yeah. We're gonna get... Yeah, we can still use the supporter, right? So we might as well like use Welder. But the better plan will be, of course, doing something else entirely. We will get rid of this. I'm gonna grab two energies. Okay. If we use smooth over and put the energy on top, we will get an extra energy acceleration, or we can use welder. Huh. Attachment. Attachment there. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. If we use welder and we whiff on the switch, it's gonna be bad. We can use Crushing Charge from the bad, but that's probably not gonna be successful. We have two of these Orangaroos, so we can use the first one uh, to be a switch. The second one to be... Ah, oh, this is strange scenario. Okay, we are going to use Smooth Over. We can use Welder and uh, maybe get everything going at once, right? We don't have the boss's orders just yet, which is unfortunate. Welder could save the day. Now we could get another Welder off with our Oranguru combo. Sure. Welder on top. Using the Primate Wisdom. 
getting the welder of course. And if we draw into one single energy, we can get that Alolan stuff out of the active. Unfortunately, we don't. Primate Wisdom. Come on. Still not an energy. Spoil the fun. We can snap 10, 10 damage, I guess. Ah, we didn't get there. Hopefully, the opponent will whiff. We do have boss's orders, so that's totally busted. If he doesn't have boss's orders in his hand, there's Acrobike. Then we should be safe. I was wondering if we would have gotten this Alolan uh, Meow out of the active position, but we don't. There's a switch to Jirachi. There's an escape board, so if he finds uh, the boss's orders, we will be in a terrible position. Okay, there's the boss's orders instantly. Okay. We are a little bit scared right now. Okay, Macargo seeing the discard pile instantly. We do have Heatran GX, so what we can do... Okay, Metal Goggles as well. Not gonna matter too much here. He can take the KO. He's not gonna get the full combo. But we have Heatran GX to make quick work of this station. Also taking two prize cards in the process. Two prize cards. It's fine. Okay, let's promote this Alolan Meowth once again. We can get the welder instantly, which is awesome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna get it. Okay, they automatically concede for some specific reason. We would have used Heatran, knocked them out, and he would have gotten zero energies. And that was uh, gonna help us out a lot because that means he would have set up another one. And we did have boss's orders in hand so that Heatran could go through true Zations and that would have actually won us the game. So Heatran, very important in our matchup as well as Blacephalon GX. It was unfortunate that our Meowth was stuck in the active. If we would have drawn into one energy, we could have already gone on the offensive, taken one prize card. We know that Macargo GX would have gone down eventually. We're gonna go first. We heavily rely on the Danny to get our setup to evolve everything. Uh, this is a ridiculous hand. Hopefully the opponent will not donk us. Maybe we top deck a quick ball, great ball, or uh, a research or whatever. Okay. It's fine as it is. Attachment here. Yeah, we can evolve that, get a welder. <laughs> we'll see how that brings us. If we welder here. Okay, hammer instantly. What is this? Dracapult hammer. Dracapult hammer. Not good for us. Okay. What we need to do is maybe get a Dedenny on top, to be honest. Get the Danny on top so we can like welder onto this guy. Attachment of the turn, smooth over. Oh yeah, just bite for 30. Fine. Okay, welder for two. It's even better. Okay, what I'm gonna do, oh, we're gonna smooth over. And we're gonna put the Danny on top. Yeah. Could also like put a quick ball on top to make sure we draw 10 out the deck even further. Uh, I don't know. Maybe putting the Danny and saving our resources is probably better. Mm, yeah, putting the Danny on top. Also, with special energies, we can uh, set up an Alolan Persian. So, might as well. <laughs> no, what am I doing? Uh, I'm shuffling back. Yeah, now we really need to draw into something like Quick Ball or the Danny. The smooth over was useless. What am I doing? What am I doing? It doesn't matter. We have the Quick Ball, so it's fine either way. But we could have sa saved ourselves a lot of uh, things. Yeah, it's fine. It's, this is even better. So we actually got saved by uh, TCGO shuffles this time around. It's fine. But uh, you actually need to do all of that stuff. So Alolan Persian. I know uh, it can help out if he's relying on horror psychic energy. So let's go. But the smooth over could have actually helped us out with... Oh, it's fine either way. Never get punished, right? Never get punished. Another one of these fellas. Another great ball. Burp. Cargo GX number two. Yeah, we can immediately go and use Burning my At this point, discard any amount of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. That's already 200. Unfortunately, one damage counter short. Fortunately, one damage counter short. Crushing charge. Yay! The next turn we can actually get some combos again with Macargo and 
Orangaroo, so we shouldn't worry about this. We can one shot everything in our pad. Like, let's say now, right now, we're doing 200 damage. If we get three energies again, we one shot this uh, V Max that is in our pad. So I don't know if we should rely on Hold Burn GX. Maybe using Burning Magma instead could be fun. All right, there we go. A couple of resources going down the drain. There's the V Max. Okay, interesting. We can use two crushing charges if you find another Oranguru. Maybe we should use um, the smooth over in combination with Primate Wisdom to get a research, leave some space open for our Dedenne and go crazy with two crushing charges. Uh, I don't know. We need, if we have five energies on this guy, we smack 300. We, we actually need six energies on the Macargo GX. And now we're gonna be golden. So what we need is a welder. Yeah, welder energy could be good. We can get out another Dedane to be honest. Dedane and welder will probably be the best bet. I think there's a Dedane price though. Fire crystal. So first things first. Smooth over. Okay, these guards are not gonna help. Does he have a special energy attached? No, so Alolan Persian is pretty useless. What do we put on top? The research, heat factory, research. There's only one welder in here and we actually need the tree attachments. Oh, sad. Okay use this this is a little bit tense yeah 160 already on our Pokemon reset stamp is not gonna matter too much yeah it's looking pretty grim to be honest it's looking pretty grim we didn't have any attachment whatsoever Another one here. We have two crushing charges. We'll see what it brings us. Oh, lots of resources. Communication. Do we have a switch card? Not yet. Okay. Okay, random crushing charge? We'll see what that brings us. Come on. <laughs> it's, a, it's an energy, it's insane. Okay, next up, we're gonna use the giant heart. Gonna get rid of the reset stamp for now. Getting two energies. Oh wow, this is working out. This is working out, primate wisdom. Oh boy. Uh, now we're gonna use the crushing charge again. Oh boy, this is working out. Energy here. Uh, yeah, let's go with the lava flow. One, two, three, four, five, six. 350 damage, Macargo style. <laughs> Look at that. The VMAX goes down. We survive. We have heat factor. <laughs> welders, of course. Of course, we got welders. Welders everywhere. And a fire energy and fire crystal. So, looking pretty good. We have. Two Orangaroos, so we can uh, use Crushing Charge twice. We can Welder, so that's in total five energies. So you should be a little bit afraid, Mr. Dracopole player. Or actually, uh, it's a girl. So the melalana has gone. So this was actually very insane. So these Orangaroos do help out. Our uh, Macargo will, of course, see the discard pile. But at this point, with two Orangaroos out there, should be fine. This guy can also slap 60 damage. We know that. 60 damage onto one of our Pokemon. Spell tag. Spell tag will not no longer work. Do we? Yeah, we do have Great Catcher, so we can actually target down the Dane and the Giratina if need be. Uh, 
how many energies in here like a bazillion so fire crystal will be a, f a fantastic way to go about this although if he this guy will probably survive forever so we are just gonna set this guy up instead we already like uh, got rid of lots of resources thanks to that gx move there's jirachi and we're gonna see a classic bite actually it's a shred knocking this out Melolana and Discarpal. Two Melolana and Discarpal, so we should be fine, right? He could be using Mewtwo to put it back, though. He could be using that. Either way, we need this. So, in this instance, Fire Crystal time. One, two, three. And we are gonna use a Quick Ball. Getting rid of Alolan Persian. Uh, at this stage, we can get out another Slugma, to be honest. So, if our fella goes down, it's not a big issue. Also, we need to draw into lots of resources that we want. It's fine. Welder. Attachment here. Primate Wisdom. Energy. Crushing charge. That's four energies. We have the Macargo for next turn. Two Macargos for next turn, so we can smooth over. Yeah, the smooth over will probably see the discard pile, to be honest. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting indeed. So, crushing charge again. Primate wisdom. Energy. There's an energy on top. Not that it matters too much here. Yeah, we can still use Smoot over for the boss's orders. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. Boss's orders on top. He could reset stamp us though. He could do that. He's running scoop, uh, super scoop up, so we're not gonna go with that scenario. Yeah, lava flow or not? We can lava flow the the Danny, but then we're getting reset stamp to like a low hand size. Interesting build to go about this heat factory. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass it out. The only thing we need is two energies, right? So we have four energies on our Macargo. We need... Yeah, this is good. If we get six energies, we knock this guy out, we win. That's how uh, this deck goes. Very, very aggressive. <clears throat> also, if uh, you see the first turn attachment being like a horror psychic energy, or actually you could actually set up an Olo and Persian. Helps out because it can snipe uh, with his GX move, I think. 120. That can mean you can one-shot things like, okay, Marnie, we're gonna draw into that boss's orders. Fantastic. And we have Crushing Charge, okay. <clears throat> Our Macargo does not survive, though. Does not survive. We have an attachment of the turn. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Maybe we should have gone on the offensive already. Great ball. Come on. Oh, these are actually very horrible, horrible, horrible cards from the Great Ball. Okay, we can use Burst GX or Bursting Burn. How many options in here? Two switches, one air balloon. Primate Wisdom. Come on, let it be an energy. <laughs> it's like another Great Ball, okay. Another Great Ball. Could actually be... Macargo again. There's two Macargos in there, though. Crushing Charge. Six energies. Crushing 
crushing charge. It's looking scary. Great ball. <laughs> we get Ditto. Ah, that Marnie actually cost us the game. Or did it? Switching. Manly retreat, switching. Primate wisdom. Heat factory, well, a little bit late. Chaotic swell ruins our plan. Okay, we can use boss's orders. Knocking this guy out. We will see the discard pile, but he will need lots of Galarian Zigzagoons, though. Lava flow. One, two, three. We do have switch in hand, so <laughs> we're just gonna use Burst GX, I guess. That's our win con. Okay, we'll see. He needs to KO us as well as having two Galarian Zigzagoons. There's two scoop up nuts in his discard pile. We'll see if it matters. Ooh, dance game with Macargo GX. We did not even showcase uh, the Persian, but Persian is good against things like Picaram. They also use speed lightning energy. Uh, they are using tag teams. It's also good against Mewtwo. It's good against Spirit Tomb. It's good against Baby Blount. So that. Uh, Tech card of Alolan Persian GX does help out. In a scenario like this, I don't know if he's gonna be able to get it. He needs a lot of resources, only having four cards in hand. He Marnied. Still needs to get Jirachi out of the active as well. And uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good. What is the opponent deciding? Stellar Whiff? We have switch on energy, so maybe he's looking for... How many Marnies in here? Two Marnies. Two Melalanas. Maybe he clunked up his deck with super scoop ups, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we actually used that Burning Magma GX to discard lots of the switches and stuff. So scoop up. That's his third scoop up. Ooh. If he knocks us out, he loses. He doesn't knock us out, he loses. Ha! Huh? Cool. We also have access to the Denny now, and uh, with the access of qu Quick Balls and the one Great Ball left, we should be able to get there. There's a Research, Crushing Hammer, Tails. That could be huge if you get the Reset Stamp in combination with that Hammer. Attachment. Triple Attachment on Dragapult. Is he gonna retreat? Fine. Well played. Oh crap. <laughs> what are we doing? We can just bursting burn. Yeah, it's still not well played though. What am I saying? Yeah, we already used our GX move. It's fine. It's fine. We just needed the boss's orders and we would have won anyhow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Macargo. Even if we retreat to the bench, he still needed the boss's orders. We had Blacephalon. We would have bursting burned. He would have been at 300 HP. We could have used Crushing Charge a couple of times to accelerate some more to Blacephalon. Finding a Wilder, finding a Fire Crystal, and we would have gotten there. So yeah, let me know what you think about Macargo GX paired with Alolan Persian GX. I think it's still very great. The attack is awesome. The Lava Flow, being able to uh, one-shot VMAX, as mentioned, is very powerful. And uh, you have options against other decks. Even though your Macargo only has 90 HP, you typically only get out one baby Macargo against Dragapult, and you should be fine. Orangaroo accelerates so uh, much energies very quickly thanks to Crushing Charge that you shouldn't have any problems at all. Also, if you're having trouble, you can also set up like uh, one uh, Alolan Persian on the bench so you can actually uh, make quick work of those. Uh, nasty Dragapults because they cannot hit you if uh, they have a special energy attached. So as soon as they attach a Horror Psych energy, get your Alolan uh, Meowth out of uh, the deck instantly and then evolve it to turn afterwards. So yeah, we're, we did pretty well with Macargo GX and uh, uh, Alolan Persian GX. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content on the channel and I will see you guys in the next video very shortly. Have an awesome weekend, fellas. Peace out.